Anyway, starting a new clip coming out here. So I'm going to have to try and put that other battery back in or find another alkaline. I think it would be wiser just to replace the alkaline in this one with another alkaline. Okay, well that is a solid expanse of coral fern and it goes many metres up that way and it goes from quite a way in there as well if you look on Google Maps. I mean away, you know three quarters of a kilometre or something like that. <laughs> really large expanse of coral fern. So uh, you can't just say where you find coral fern, you find banana. That might not be true once we've had a bushfire though. It may just be sort of hanging on, you know. But uh, come a bit down here. Edge of the water. Still nothing that I can see, but you know, how could the banana... How can the banana hang on in there? I'm not sure there's not enough sunlight. So what I don't get is how it comes back after a bushfire. It's not like the seed has got a really tough external tester or something like that to withstand a bushfire. It goes against the normal, you know, bushfire rules for Australian seeds, you know. You know, seeds are, you know, either have a tough, tough tester or they dropped after a bushfire into fresh ash. It doesn't flower really at the right time of the year to do that. So, uh, one more look and I think we'll end this clip and go back to the car and head on down to Mount Compass, I think, and, and see if anyone's ripped those bananas out, because you never know. Okay.